I'm out All of right. touch with the common man. How, I am All right, we got to go to Connecticut. Chris. Chris. Yeah, now, Anthony. Yes, yes, sir. Now, I, you used to be a common person, uh -huh. but, you know, now you're sitting there with your pretty paycheck, and now whenever yeah. you talk something political, you're out of touch, man. I'm out you're of touch. You're not one of us anymore. You're one of those Republicans sitting high up in your perch, you know, just out of touch with the common person. How you is... You talk about health care or politics and... Yeah, well, well Carver's in lets you go. Then we'll see where you stand. How is how am I out of touch with the common person just because I I do well and I've I've made like you know I've uh, you know, I'm kind of a success story here anymore. in myself. I'm kind of a success story, but I vividly remember what it was like to work very hard for a living and uh, pay uh, uh, the taxes that I did pay and and have uh, health insurance and have to pay for that. I remember all that stuff. It sucked. What about the guys you left behind, though? That's what he's getting at. They were idiots. Where's the, the guy? guys that left you behind? <laughs> the guys that uh, you left behind. Don't you want them to be okay in this new world? Or you don't no, care? No, you know what it is? I was I was fine. I was okay. I was stupid and got married. That was dumb. But for the most part, I had a hell of a lot of fun uh, when I was, you know, working for a living and barely scraping by. I still managed to have a good time and make sure, you know, most stuff was paid for. But then there are things that I realized, you know, you started getting a, a little older, like I couldn't afford, unfortunately. It's just, it's, it's, it's no idea with being, it has nothing to do with me losing touch with the common man. Believe me, I'm a lot more common than you know. <laughs> Anthony's rubbish. I am. I'm complete <laughs> Long Island white trash. I suck. Any day of the week, you can find me swigging beer in my backyard. Yeah. That's it. Oh, in your backyard. Yes, <laughs> just like the common man. Light my 20 tiki torches. <laughs> yeah, you're downplaying your 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 house by you know what? in my it, backyard. I'm in the backyard because the Mexicans are cleaning my house. Now what? <laughs> See, you know. I'm the common man. <laughs> What about the people you left behind? I, I think about the people. Who the hell did I leave behind? And I got you, you gotta you gotta hope that they're doing okay. They're all I left bills. no one behind. Oh, every single one of them an albatross around my neck. Really? Of course. I know you, you're lying. Who you go back. Let me you think. go back to the shop every once in a while and say hi to the boys. I do that every so Don't often. Don't you want to know they're doing Drop okay in, and they wave they could afford as their, I pass by. <laughs> they could afford their health insurance and they could fill up their tanks with some gas and pay their bills. That's what I did! Don't you worry about them, though. But I did that. I did that. It's possible. You can do it. It's not like I'm saying that, that, that people can't do it and they should be screwed. Ugh. I'm just talking about socialized programs. I don't like socialism. But see, Anthony Obama will help your old... Obama <laughs> is a socialist. He is a socialist. <laughs> with with uh, an agenda. That we're not going to see until he, he he puts his hand on that Bible <laughs> and, and takes the oath if he wins the election. Then we'll see his agenda. Then we'll see Mr. Community Organizer come out and and it's going to be screw whitey and uh, social programs for everybody except uh, 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 white people, rich rich white people. No, even middle class. What are you kidding? He'll be so preoccupied taking care of the uh, uh, the. Um, Poor and the lower class. That's what I mean. He's going to take care of everybody except for rich white people. No. <laughs> what about the middle class people? He's... I'm even including African Americans in there. There are plenty of hardworking middle class African American families that are going to be screwed by Obama's let me take care of everybody uh, in, in the country. Right. Let me make sure everybody's equal and taken care of. And, and oh. it's like uh, the Soviet Union. Well, it'll never get to that point. Oh, it won't? He's just going to help a little bit. He's going to help the guys that you left behind. I right? hate any form of socialism. This country is like the lottery. You come over here and it's a scratch ticket. Sometimes you lose and you got to end up in a gutter with a bottle of booze. But I do agree with, I don't like socialism either, but it was just funny the examples yeah. you're giving of what a bum Obama is. You're like, yeah, yeah. everybody's going to be uh, equal and taken care of. Like, yes. Those are like good things. No, it's not, though. Everyone's, everyone's That's not what this country is. People assume this country is supposed to be, you come here and you're taken care of. It's not the truth of the matter is. There, there's hard work. There's a lot of friggin' luck involved. A lot of luck. 
And and it's not a place where everyone is taken care of. That's been the biggest problem with this goddamn country. Thank you. You come here or you're born in this country. There are certain opportunities given to you that are given to everybody in this day and age. And you use this country and those resources to the best of your ability to build yourself up and achieve what is known as the American dream. Once you're there, enjoy it. But not everyone's going to get there. And you shouldn't have to tear down the person that achieved that American dream to a certain level so you can bring up a person that did not achieve that level. This is not what America's based on. There's no guarantees in America. This isn't a country of guarantees. You want that? Go to a socialist nation. You come to this country, or you are born into this country, to make the best of yourself. Sometimes you work very hard and nothing pans out. That is also part of this country. So don't give me, I've lost touch with the common man. There are no guarantees in America. Thank you. Let me ask you this, Anthony. And I am picking my vice presidential candidate. If, if you were... Old big tongue. If you were still a tin knocker, <laughs> yes. would you uh, vote for Obama? No! Uh, there you go. Because it would have been coming out of my eye. I would be a hardworking guy trying to save some money. And I'd be getting screwed because I wouldn't even fall into his goddamn category. I'd still be considered rich, probably. What if because I'm able to afford a roof over my head? All right. What if Obama was white and you were? Oh, in a second, I'd vote for him. <laughs> I'm teasing, of course. I'm just saying he. Uh, it, it's too. It's too close. If not socialism, it's too close to it. But I have to. I have to clarify something too. Oh, okay. Um, Test came back negative. No. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry to hear that. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> Positive with acting lessons. Now you can <laughs> look and go. No, I'm fine. Um, how come I don't get the American music? But I'm going to make a good point. Oh, you haven't made the point yet. Excellent point. By you, <laughs> I, you, a valid point. I hit that button when it's like all. You, no, no. you can tell he's on a roll. Can We're waiting for you to be on a roll, there, Jimmy. But I was going to say that. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, when I say to being taken care of, I don't mean handouts for bums, but I mean like the way we spend money in this country is so irritating. Is that we are we're very selective in what we do with it. Yeah, uh, we're not consistent. It's like the, we we give so much foreign aid and we give mm -hmm. so much money to people in other countries, and then there's people here who don't. That's what I'm talking about. That's not socialism to want people here. Who really? Who just? Who do work hard? Who just have got some bad breaks? Who can't afford you, it to be able to get health care? I don't think that's socialist. It, socialist it is. is if you're a doctor, you're making the same as a guy who uh, uh, works at a pharmacy or who works uh, digging ditches, for lack of a better example. What do you think uh, socialized medicine will be? Um, do you I think, think if it's done right, it would just guarantee that people who really can't afford to get things done are able to get things done. People are able to go into an emergency room and get and get health care in this country. You can't be denied. You can't, yeah, exactly. So if, if you, if you uh, can't afford health insurance and you have a problem, you take your little child or yourself to the emergency room, they will get health care. But you can't get, you can't get tests like uh, whether it's your prostate check or your colon or whatever these things are. You can't, you can't get the tests for that unless you have the insurance for $1,000 to get mm -hmm. tested to see if you might. It, those little preventative medicine things that keep you from walking in with a lump the size of a basketball on your testicles going, I think there's a problem, doctor. <laughs> good, good point. Good point, Jimmy. So it's almost like good it's point for like, Jimmy. Good point. I'm going to give one to Jimmy there. I'm not talking about... Yeah, if it's an emergency, people. they're gonna you'll be able to be taken care of. But, but I mean, uh, basic it, things like why would we want to spend our money on like helping people who are legitimate as Americans? Prevention, Jimmy. Prevention. Yeah. Well, Very a important. better a better way to do that is a restructuring to, to and and a realistic view of <laughs> insurance companies. That's the problem. Not getting uh, uh, turning. Uh, our country into a socialist nation with socialized health care like Canada. I'm talking about restructuring insurance companies so that it can be affordable to people and they're not given health care. They still must pay for a product. So that, but they are given affordable health care that but that they still have to pay for. Well, I don't for mind. God's sake. God country's sake. And guns. But uh <laughs> 
I think no. this is a biased debate. <laughs> it really is. Boy, I'm really getting the tar and feathering. And, but if you know no more than Jimmy Simon, it's too much oh, fun I know to you play, are. play this role right now. <laughs> Go ahead, Jimmy. But uh, I, I say Boring. that, but no, oh, man, no. medicine's good. <laughs> medicine? Everybody <laughs> likes to ask, Brynn. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I just think that uh, uh, we spend so much money wastefully. I don't think it's crazy to want people. I to agree too. Get that stuff done. Money is wasted. Like, like these Wall Street. I'm, again, I feel bad for a lot of people that lost their jobs. But these scumbags that we've been protecting, yep. who are allowed to walk out with three hundred million dollars. Like we've allowed that in this country. We're such a nation of dopes. Mm -hmm. I'm not a bleeding heart liberal or a socialist. But when I see some scumbag who has been doing nothing but digging in people's pockets for all those years, and he can somehow loophole out with $300 million, he should be yeah. shot. Yeah, that... we're, we're dummies for allowing it to happen.